I'm now for the morning rush. The state's billion dollar plus budget does not head into the governor's desk. Early this morning, the House passed the Senate's updated version. 3.5 billion will go to public education, including a 4% pay hike for teachers, a slight decrease from the initial 5% proposed. Early childhood and higher education will also see a boost in funding. For more, go to krqe.com. Erica. We're dealing with messy weather on the east side of the state. Cold air moving in and breezy conditions expected for today. Grab your jackets and be careful on the roads. A homeless man accused of beating a motel employee will stay locked up until trial. Prosecutors say surveillance video shows Juan Gonzalez beating the woman at the Days Inn last week, then stabbing her. She suffered severe injuries. Gonzalez's attorney agreed with prosecutors that they have enough evidence to move forward with the case. A 19 year old who promised that he would stay out of trouble is back behind bars. David Fiero got a second chance in August after Judge Brett Loveless sentenced him to 18 months probation. Now, Bernalillo County deputies say that he was caught sleeping in a stolen car in the South Valley with a gun. He's facing several charges along with a probation violation. Albuquerque police are searching for two suspects accused of beating a man to death. 60 year old Norman Routson was killed on Coors near Central on September 19th. Two men were seen taking off from that scene, both described as Native American in their mid to late 20s. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 843 STOP. City of Santa Fe wants to hear from residents about a potential new road. Officials are discussing whether to build the road across the Chamiso Arroyo to relieve traffic congestion. Three options up for consideration to connect Rodeo and Cerios Road. Not everyone's on board. A public meeting set for next month now. Researchers at UNM were working on a way to kill mosquitoes that carry diseases. The project began as a result of the Zika virus outbreak. The research team mixes essential oils toxic to mosquitoes with something that they love to eat, as well as yeast, and making a deadly combination. Now, the mixture kills the mosquitoes while they're still larvae. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index for today. We are keeping it pretty low because we're not having any problems with weather on the roadways this morning, but it is going to be cooler and breezy for today, so make sure to bundle up. State transportation officials say they're working to secure more money to keep a busy highway safe. This after a large rock fell very close to a driver on Highway 68 between Española and Taos. DOT officials say they have already fencing and nets throughout the canyon, but they're looking to secure more funds for more fencing. Tomorrow, flags will be flown at half staff honoring the New Mexico soldier killed in Afghanistan. Sergeant First Class Antonio Rey Rodriguez was killed in a fire fight earlier this month. Now, the governor signed an executive order honoring him. His rosary is tonight at 7 with a funeral mass tomorrow at noon in Las Cruces. Recall alert nearly 6 million Contigo kids' cleanable water bottles are being recalled for a possible choking hazard. Regulators say the silicone spout on the bottle can detach, potentially causing choking. A small group of city employees are making a big difference in the lives of Albuquerque seniors, but they say many don't know about their services. The city's senior services crew helps with everything from changing smoke detectors to installing fall safety equipment and wheelchair ramps. The service is free for Bernalillo County residents 60 and older. Virgin Galactic space tourism flights might be closer than you think. This after Virgin Galactic relocated its spaceship to Spaceport America last week. That ship will take tourists to space for a quarter million dollars. Virgin Galactic says it has some more testing to do before taking up passengers. If you have recently taken a trip to Las Vegas, listen up. MGM Resort says hackers got into their system last year stealing personal information. At least 1,300 people had sensitive data stolen, like their driver's license info. The resort says that they notified those impacted. MGM is working with law enforcement to find who is behind the breach. Here's your dose of good news for you. How about this act of kindness? Take a look at the video here. Officers Mark Wells, Victor Olvera, and Sergeant Peter Silva were called to help a disabled man whose electric wheelchair had died. The officers helped him by using the department's outreach van. They took the man home, helped him get into his other wheelchair. Erica. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. On the maps, we don't have any accidents, but there is a police scene block a tree scope between Bridge and Central. Everything else looking normal out there. And here's a look at Tracker going east on 4th Street. Those roads are looking clear of any bad weather. Another accolade from Yell Wolf this morning. The Journal's reporting that Rolling Stone magazine is calling the art collective one of the coolest venues. The article in the magazine's latest issue goes on to describe the venue as a, quote, mind bending space inside a huge immersive art house. Rolling Stone was highlighting Santa Fe as a small city with a big scene. And yeah. We love it. Big